every minute on the radio Got me thinking, could I be in love In this strange, simple thing All the songs about climbing high as mountains And swimming the deepest seas And these folks who can't live without one another It sounds real crazy to me does it sound crazy to you? Oh yeah. My name is Michel Fambro here at jamplay.com and in this segment I'm going to talk about dynamics and how we can use uh, some of the things that we've spoken about previously with finger picking and rhythm to really enhance the performance of your songs. Michel Fambro at jamplay.com. In this segment, we're gonna talk about dynamics. Um, what are dynamics? Well, dynamics are how loud and soft you're playing. I can play loud, I can play soft. It's a little bit more to it than that. Basically, there is a way of using uh, dynamics to really enhance uh, the performance of a song. I mean, we all understand, um, if you think of a movie, a book, or anything like that, and we all understand the middle, or the beginning, the middle, the end. And what happens is, is if you, your senses are, are if you hear something for long periods of time, such as, um, you know, uh, somebody playing and they're playing really loud all the time, it wears on you, it wears on you. Or sometimes if you go see, uh, you know, singer-songwriters, um, and oh gosh, you know, they're so down all the time and that wears you out too. Now for me, I think it's fun to try to take people on a journey when it comes to, um, you can use music dynamics to do that, to, to take people on a journey, to bring people up like this and to bring them down like that. Now. Um, and of course, these kinds of this kind of sensitivity has been practiced for for hundreds of years. I mean, classical musicians. Um, I mean, gosh, you know. So you have some guy trying to impress his, his wife, his girlfriend. He takes her to a, you know a, a concert. Now the composers usually were quite aware of the guy who sits down there in the audience while while a piece is being played, being you know played. You know the guy's going to sleep. You know you wake up. What the heck is going on? You know what I mean? They would intentionally do that to just wake up people because they knew that cat be falling asleep or something like that. And in in R and B music, and um, that's is something else that's used. Now, see, a lot of black musicians are, are kind of used to this. Why is that? Because, um, well, in singing groups, and when I say singing groups, I'm talking about groups like the Delphonics, Temptations, Four Tops, groups like that. And basically, what you would usually have is there would be one singer, and there'd be like five to forty other, you know, black dudes in suits, you know, doing their steps, yo, you know, all this kind of thing. And um, so, you know, there's always somebody that's wondering, well, why the heck is there only one singer and these 40 other guys, you know, if they're singing, what the heck are they doing? You, you want to tell 40 black guys to, to, to leave the stage? I don't think so. Um, now, the way this would work in terms of dynamics um, is, <clears throat> okay, so now the band is playing. Do, do, guys, do, do. And everything is grooving. Yeah, yeah, the band is kicking, right? Dun, 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 dun. So all of a sudden, here comes the 40 black dudes in the suits, right? Doing their thing. Yeah, that's cool. And finally, the coolest black guy you've ever seen. Coolest dude on the stage. He walks up. Dun, 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 dun. And as soon as he reaches out, that mic stand is right there. And as soon as he puts his, his hand on that microphone, all of a sudden, pop! And then the band shuts down like that. Whoa. Now, this has an amazing effect to the audience that's watching this because all of a sudden it went from this intense level, this intensity down to nothing. Now what's gonna happen when that happens? Everybody tunes in like this, you see? Very, very effective, very effective. Plus, you see, people who would come to see groups of Temptations, for they wanna hear the singers. And if the band is too loud, well, usually those guys got fired, you see? Um, so, now the band is down, now the singer is there, right? Boom, again, soul drop, pop, band breaks down. 
Singer gets up there in the microphone. Hey, everybody. Hey, put your hands together. Put your, put your damn hands together. I ain't playing. You know what I mean? So, you know, he's pretty serious, you see. And, uh, you know, always be somebody out there, man. I think we better do what he's saying, honey. Um, this is a very, very, very effective technique. In the next segment, I'm going to show you how you can actually use this to enhance your playing as an acoustic soloist. Michel Fambro at jamplay.com. In this segment, I'm going to talk about using dynamics to enhance the performance of your songs. Um, now, I'm going to use a song of mine to, to demonstrate this. And it's a, it's a simple song. Um, <clears throat> the, the chords are just, uh, just uh, C, G, D, G. Um, and so, this is what we would have. A simple f finger style thing. You can play it any way you like. Quiet. Now here comes a verse. It's all right. If you sing off key, if you sing from the heart, it's still music to me. Let go of the shame, we've all been there, you see. If that's all right with you, it's all right with me. Now that's the first verse. Now in this song, it has three, three, four verses. And if that goes from start to finish just like that, for me, it gets a little kind of boring. For me now, most people, you know, they're not really used to having dynamics applied, uh, applied. But when they do, it can be really effective. Um, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the same verse, and this time I'm just going to play it with with the same sensibility of a band. And again, as I mentioned before in the introduction. If you have any kind of intensity level that from beginning to end is the same, it can be very, very wearing. If you mix up these dynamics, it can make the performance of the piece very, very exciting for the performer and for the, lis for the listener. Now, um, a recap on this uh, uh, verse of this tune. It's all right if you sing of key. If you sing from the heart, it's still music to me. Okay, now, now here's a rhythm version of that. It's alright if you sing off key. If you sing from the heart, it's still music to me. Let go of the shame that we've all been there to see. If that's alright with you, it's alright with me. Hey, hey, hey. Now, again, the same progression. Now, Putting this all together, this is how this can work. Um, <clears throat> what you have um, is a term that you can call the soul drop. And James Brown utilizes this big time. And that is when something is played. Like this here. Here's the band, right? The soul drop, the drummer usually does this. He'll just take a snare, take the snare hit and and everything drop. <laughs> see that? And when it does that, it just kind of pulls you in. You see? So again. It, it's, here comes the drop. It's all right if you sing off key. Dynamics can be very, very effective. We have two approaches with this. We've got our finger style. Doesn't matter what it is. You can strum whatever you like. And then the other part we have is our rhythm thing. Again, I think if a drummer would be playing, they would probably do something like that. Okay, now, two choices here of many. You can either have the band start out really big and then break it down. Um, to get really quiet. So we'll start it like this. Here comes the 
verse. It's alright if you sing off key. If you sing from the heart, it's still music to me. Or you can start it quiet and then build it up, which is what I did initially. It's all right if you sing off key, if you sing from the heart, it's still music to me. It's all right. Hey, hey. All right, everybody, put your hands together. Put your damn hands together. Come on. <laughs> anyway, in the next segment, we're going to talk about, we're going to revisit our discussion on positions and scales.